this video, we're talking about how to find the least common multiple of a set of numbers. And the least common multiple is just the number that both of the numbers we've been given will divide into evenly. So in other words, if we just talk about multiples in general, here we've been given two numbers, 10 and 15. Let's talk about the multiples of 10. Well, when we talk about the multiples of a number, what we mean is the multiples of 10 will be 10 times one, so 10, 10 times two, 20, 10 times three, 30, 10 times four is 40. So in other words, 10, 20, 30, and 40 are all multiples of 10. And I could keep going on to infinity, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. Those are all multiples of 10 because 10 divides evenly into all of those numbers. I could also look at the multiples of 15. I could say 15 times one gives me 15, 15 times two gives me 30, 15 times three, gives me 45, 15 times four gives me 60, and I could keep going, same thing. So 15, 30, 45, and 60 are all multiples of 15. So then when I say I wanna find the least common multiple of two numbers, for example, I wanna find the least common multiple of 10 and 15. I'm looking for the smallest number that matches between these two sets. And what I can see is that that's gonna be 30. 30 is the smallest number that 10 and 15 divide into evenly because 30 is a multiple of both 10 and 15 and there's no number that's smaller than 30 that 10 and 15 both go into evenly. 10 goes into 10 and 20 evenly, but 15 doesn't. 15 goes into 15 evenly, but 10 doesn't go into 15 evenly. So 30 is the least common multiple. If I kept going here with 10, I could say 10 times five is 50 and 10 times six is 60. And then I could say that 60 is also a multiple of 10 and 15 because it's in both sets, but it's not the least common multiple because 30 is smaller than 60. So 30 is gonna be my least common multiple of 10 and 15. Now what happens when you have a set of numbers that includes more than just two numbers and maybe it's gonna be really difficult to write out all of the multiples of each number until you find one that matches across all three sets. Here we need to find the least common multiple of 24 10 and 15. So how do we do that? Well, the easiest way to do it is to factor all three numbers into their prime factors. So in other words, we're gonna do some prime factorization here. Remember with prime factorization, if we have an even number, we know we can divide two into that number. So we'll get two and 12 because two times 12 is 24. Remember also that a prime number is a number that's divisible only by one and itself. So two is a prime number because the only factors of two are one and two. In other words, one and the number itself. 12 is not a prime number because I can divide it by one and 12, one in itself, but I can also divide it by three and four and six. So I wanna divide this again by two to get two and six. And two is a prime number, but six isn't. So I need to divide six by two again, and I get two and three. So two, 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 and three, those are all prime numbers here. So I know that I'm done with my prime factorization. And now I just need to go ahead and write these out two times two times two times three, and this is the product of primes of 24. I need to do the same thing for 10 and 15. So I can divide 10 into two and five. Two and five are both prime numbers, so I can't go any further with my prime factorization, and my product of primes then is two times five. For 15, I'll divide that into three and five, because three times five is 15. Three and five are both prime numbers, so I know I'm done with my prime factorization and my product of primes is three and five. Now the only number for which I have repeating factors in my product of primes is this 24 here. I have three factors of two, so I wanna rewrite this as two cubed times three. So here I have three factors of two and one factor of three. Here I have one factor of two and one factor of five. And here I have one factor of three and one factor of five. So when I wanna find the least common multiple now that I have my prime factors, what I need to do is take the largest number of each factor. So what I see first of all is that I have factors of two and I have factors of two. I have factors of three and factors of three and I have factors of five and factors of five. So I have to look at two, I have to look at three, and I have to look at five. So first, looking at two, what's the largest number of factors that I have for two? Well, in this number, I have three factors of two. In this number, I have one factor of two. I have to take the larger number of factors of two. So I have to take three factors of two. So I'll say two cubed. 
Now I look at my factors of three. I have one factor of three and I have one factor of three. Those are equal, so I just have to take one factor of three. And then I have to look at my factors of five. I have one factor of five and one factor of five, so I have to take one factor of five. And now I can just multiply all of these together to get my least common multiple. So I'm gonna say two cubed or two times two times two, that's gonna give me eight. Three times five is gonna give me 15. So I'm gonna say eight times 15. 8 times 15 is going to give me 120. So 120 is going to be the least common multiple of 24, 10, and 15. And I can prove to myself that 120 is a multiple of 24, 10, and 15 by dividing 120 by all three of these numbers. So if I divide 120 by 24, I get 5. If I divide 120 by 10, I get 12. If I divide 120 by 15, I get 8. So I know that 24, 10, and 15 all go evenly into 120. That helps me double check at least that I do have a multiple of the three numbers I started with, but this is the method you want to use to find the least common multiple of a set of numbers like this one.